Nigga, it ain't where you're from, it's where you at. Yeah. I know the man, them the homies up there. And Teddy, okay. it's from, it, like, like in L.A., man, uh -huh. it, it, you ain't got to be, you ain't got to get put on or nothing. Mm -hmm. Your strategic place where you're from, mm -hmm. them bullets ain't going to stop and say, have you got put on? <laughs> they going to get you. And I'll be yeah. on Teddy's ass. Uh -huh. I said, bro, because the man's for them the homies. Yeah. That's Pico gang with us. Yeah. We love Pico. They yeah. damn. And, and everybody don't gangbang like you, boo. And he yeah. said, Teddy. You know, and I would say, you from Mansfield. Teddy would be like, I'm not. Boo, I don't came back. You got that blue Dodge hat? Yeah. Got, <laughs> and I hear him saying, Teddy. cuz, him and Brent. Hey, cuz. Teddy, Teddy, yeah, yeah, the cuz. <laughs> hey, Teddy cuz. was not a crit, but he, he was a crit. Like, his spear probably was a crit. <laughs> <laughs> he just wasn't a crit. <laughs> He you grew up crazy. Crazy. He, he just wasn't banging yeah. though. Yeah, rest in peace, my yeah. nigga Teddy Ray. Rest you understand uh, me? Beast, man. It's the Cali kickback. You understand me? Yes, it's your sir. boy Louis Belt, man. Oh, we got another special guest, man. Um, he been highly requested. I've been seeing y'all comments, man. Um, the one and only, man. Buka Pong, hey. man. Hey. 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 Yeah, What's man, up, fam, LA, fam? LA finest, man. Hey, man, hey, nephew, I love you like cooked food, man. Hey, man, I appreciate you, man. Look like MC Hammer, man. brother. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my nigga, my dog. This my, my wave cap partner, man. Hey, hey, hey wave cap. What's up, He man? look like your daddy. He can't be. I don't know that nigga. <laughs> Yo, LA daddy. He got the wave cap on. That nigga, shit, you know? nigga look like a tough R&B star. Bro, <laughs> Look like a tub of hey, look, I see you look raspy too. You know what I mean? Y'all both got raspy voices with shades. <laughs> we kind of light skinned. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like with the brown to clown. Oh, man. Y'all yeah, look like LL Cool J. If that nigga was. Did a little potter. LL Cool J. Did a little potter. Hey. Hey, I'm bad. I'm bad, motherfucker. I love the dream. This nigga look like the dream. I love you, nigga. That's how I look at it. Hell yeah. Yeah. Jamal True Love, man. How you feeling, Juan? Yeah, man, I'm big kicking it, man. Just chilling, man. Let it be around some, you know, some funny energy. You know, some, Are y'all related? Do you got any family in the Bay? Because my, my boy right here, he from the city, man. He from hey, San Francisco. Hey, listen, man, I want to think about it. ain't where you're from. It's where you're at, man. I'm, I'm a real L.A. nigga, but I've never discriminated with Bay, San Francisco, L.A. It's all my people. My For dad sure. and ran, you know, but his partners, with, uh, we from the east side. To the west side, but my dad and ran with the with the wars. Frank, oh, okay. Ted, from Oakland. Willie from Oakland. Yeah, yeah them real. Uh, I don't want to get. I don't even speak on that shit, I, but they rap the for San sure. Francisco, man. Come on, man. Uh, RBO Posse, all them niggas. I yeah. love yeah. Mac yeah. Mall. Yeah, yeah. shout out yeah. to OGs, yeah. man. Yeah. Hey, listen, yeah. man. Y'all kept it going. Yeah. Listen, man. I got nothing but love. From my bay area. Come on, man. Y'all got that sweat. Y'all gave it to us. The black planets, man, that black shit. Come on, See, man. See, in L.A., we kind of bougie. You know what I'm saying? Mm. We kind of bougie in L.A., you know? Sometimes we say, some niggas say door, and we talk like, you know, yeah, my yeah. bay area niggas. I'm like, y'all got that Yeah, yeah, yeah on, we, 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 we California country niggas. California country yeah, niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah we, you know, we ain't, man. Say, man. Yeah, 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 yeah man. I'm finna go get in the yeah, car real yeah. fast, yeah, man. Go pick up the bra. And when I was there, we used to talk like that till Ronald Reagan came in. We used to talk like that. We gonna put some emphasis on that shit. Yes, sir. And And one thing about it, because you know, California, man. I, and I come from that cloth. I'm the only nigga can pull it off. Oh, mama, mama, mama. Uh, that's a P right there. That's I come real. from that cloth. I'm, I'm the only, only one who can pull, pull it off. It off. Yeah. yeah, I hear you, P. Yeah, yeah, man. Pull, pull, pull for P, yeah, man. man. Don't get pulled, man. Yeah, yeah man. Say, man. And you Hello. do know that. <laughs> you know, I can talk to Max Shine. And you do know that. The Mac, Max Shine. Yeah. And yes, sir. Yes, sir. But, but the thing about it, California, you know, if you from Cali, Really, L.A. To, to, to Oakland, San Francisco, you know your people going to be from Texas or Louisiana. Yep. Facts. Facts. Uh, Facts. Oklahoma. Right? Oklahoma. Shut up. Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yeah, Mississippi. Awesome. Mississippi. Mississippi. Yeah, sure. yep. So, you know, me being from L.A., most of my family from Texas, Dallas, Houston, my mm. pops, my mom and them, and they migrated here. My aunts and them from Louisiana, they migrated. So I have nothing love for the South. So sure. Oakland is Louisiana. For sure, yeah, cause that's where my pops from. My pops Come originally on. from Monroe, Louisiana. Man. Monroe, Louisiana. Yeah, man. You know, I know about me. it, man. I've been my, through them. My, my dad, my stepdad, who was my my biological dad friend from Tulsa, Oklahoma, but then they moved to L.A. My daddy, he always used to be like, you know, I was an original crib because he used to be he, he was from um, uh, Grape Street. Yeah. Back in the day, in the in the way uh, back in the, in the day, in Watts. the sixties, Watts, oh, yeah, exactly. Watts. in the sixties, Jordan so, down, yeah. Shout out Watts on the corner. Shout out Watts on the corner. Yeah. And Grape Street, you gotta stand some the Grape Street. They wear that purple. Yeah, 
Yeah. And when you wear with that purple, you gotta understand they thought it was just gang crazy gang, but that that color's a royal color. Yeah. How did that curl how that, that, that color it's a shit royal. start? It's but a so, royal so, color. so like what he's saying, like, you know, my, my pops, he he always used to be like, you know, when I was, you know, when I was from Grape and we was, you know, rocking purple and, you know, stuff like that, like, you know, it was for like the community. It was yes. for the black people just yes. in general, right? And then Community Revolution and Progress. Yes. Crip. Mm. Yep. Bloods is bringing light out of darkness. Yeah. B L O D. Damn, for real. It meant something. Yeah, it meant something. I was looking with like, with a camera. Ricky B's mark. I was looking for your ass on Quincy. I'm looking for you, Ricky. Is it because he got to tell the story? He knocked out. Tookie. I'm looking for you, Ricky. <laughs> my uncle, That's my OG shit to do. I'm looking <laughs> for Ricky you, Ricky. Ricky. <laughs> my uncle, when he when he wasn't smoking crack, then he got. 40 inch on. Yeah. He is he was the only one that knocked out Tookie. And he oh, gotta really? tell the story. Yeah. He, he knocked out Tookie Williams. Knocked out Tookie. Where Rickham. was Tookie Williams from? He was he was the baby. He was from West Side Crips. He was with uh Raymond Washington and them, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, my uncle Ricky Beachy and my uncle Rest in Peace AC Alan Charles, they was the original <laughs> Bible Crips. They thought I was like Brenton be laughing at me. Uh -huh. Little Brenton they be laughing at me, but I'm telling them it was a guy, Bible Crips before the schoolyards in Queen Anne Park. They was banging the Bible? They had to go. Them niggas the banging the Bible. <laughs> Bible Oh, Crip. Jesus Christ, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> they didn't drink the blood of Jesus. They, 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 they didn't want that blood of Jesus. Yeah. They, on the closet, hey, Jesus. Hey, this C is for Christ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's Come on, that's real man. spit, man. Yeah, I, was, I was just in LA the other day looking for my uncle, man. I was on Victoria, everything. Because he got to tell his story, because he got a fun, he got a hell of a story. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like Ray Ray Brownie and all the other OGs that, that, that came out of LA. Like my nigga, like you said, it, it wasn't about no gang, it was really about protecting the neighborhood. And prior to that, my pops, Big J, man, you know what I'm saying, it ran with, uh, you know, Fred and, and, and Willie and. The wars, he they was original gladiators. So you had the gladiators, uh -huh. the businessmen, the D'Artanians, the rebel rousers. So the game bankers was like y'all Black Panthers for the Bay, Area, like well, Oakland. Let me, and let me tell you, and that's a good point you're saying, nephew, because we, my uncle, rest in peace. Uh, he was the chapter of the Black Panthers uh, for LA. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. For LA, um, and then you know when you had the BPS, that was the Black Panther Society. Black oh, you, you, you that's how, oh BPS BPS because that's jungles and shit over that's here, right? Jungles and yeah. shit. You see how you like oh, how I know man, my shit, oh, right? Come on, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm all over the place, man. Space he with he this know, shit, man. I want to connect the world with space without this And that was the point where T. Rogers came down. T. Rogers from Chicago came down, but uh, yeah, man, Bunchy Carter, man, Bunchy Carter got killed at UCLA from the US program. The government had infiltrated the black L.A. Black Panthers from Oakland. See, I, when I when I, let me tell you something, man. I have nothing but love for my people, man, and and, and people in general. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I've never been a like a space bank. Like, oh, they from Oakland. We can we LA. Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I did the color shit. I was retarded doing that. But when I when when it's when it's our people, I love my Bay Area niggas. I love my Oakland niggas. Y'all, when y'all come to LA, mm -hmm. I come from that cloth. Where we we you, your money don't work with us. And you know what? Your money mamas, don't work. On mamas, right? Your was, money don't work. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think, yeah. I think all the mother niggas got to pay. Yeah, the mother niggas got to pay. Your mama. Your money don't work with us. We gonna Because we want y'all to go back and say them niggas took care. Booker yeah. Paul and them yeah. niggas from L.A. Yeah. Yeah, they took care of us, man. Yeah. We love them niggas. That's how yeah. I get down. Yeah. That's, and that's why I think, like, you know, it was so easy for, like, Tupac to segue, you know what I mean, from being, you know, in the Bay, Oakland heavy, you know, mm -hmm. to find that same type of love in, yeah. in, in L.A. Mm -hmm. and feel at home. No, no matter where, what city he was in, you know, he found his people, you know what I mean? So I think it was, it was the soul one. of, you know, black people and, you know, the shit that, you know, we just went through in general and was able to speak on it and identify what, you know, the same type of area Oakland is is the same type of areas you know LA you know had as well you was outside when Pac came out here that's my top Pac how to do this on <laughs> my truth LaShawn LaShawn that's my nigga he was older than my truth I've been catching myself hey. doing that shit too yes, yes. Like, yes. I my think Richie Rich is the one that taught Pac how to pop his collar pop man. his collar man Richie Rich had yeah, Pac Richie pop his collar out out man Man, Pac Deshaun, man, that nigga was a comedian. He was so funny, bro. Like, I used to have him on my answer service. Shout out to my nigga Gooch, because Gooch, Gooch uh, really introduced me to Pac years ago. Pac was in L.A. years before Death Row. He, he was oh, okay. always in L.A. Yeah. He was always in L.A., always. He loved L.A., but Pac could make you cry, you know? Yeah. 
he'll start crying. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, come on, man. He'll pick up homeless people. Uh, but uh, with Pac, he was a comedian. Like, like we would, he would call me Fish Eye uh, Boot, Bubble Eye Boot, Bubble Eye Boot. And I tell him, and I do this: Is there a doctor in the house? Is there a doctor in the house? I call him Groucho Morris because he had a unibrow that was only, yeah. that shit was connected. And he would he would fall on the ground and laugh hard. That nigga would laugh, bro. That's what I loved about him. He would be all on the ground just ah, ah yeah. Da, da, da. yeah. He was he was he was one of those dudes, man. And uh, yeah, he always been in L.A. Pac wasn't no me and Pac seen Pac start riding. Me and Pac used to always be. Cause I was a fool too. I, I wish Pac was here so he could uh, vouch for this shit. You know who I'm doing. No, what? No. Anybody we out so there? We're so young. Like, no, no. Yeah, this gonna be one of those Tupac watch. interviews if, they gonna if, use. If Big Sax, nigga, something. mama, she just came yeah, out with the documentary. Mo Prem, Mo Prem, Mo Prem. That here, my nigga, Big Psych, rest in peace from IBC. Yeah. Spike, uh, Big Psych used to be with us. Uh -huh. I'm Booga Pong, man. I started this gangster shit. Oh, this some motherfucking thing. You thing telling me this the things I get? Yeah, it is. Yeah, man. Um, what you was doing back in the day, like when you, because you, of course, for the people that don't know, Boo Capone is a, uh, Boo Capone is a hilarious comedian, you understand me, straight out of L.A., but you've been around since Gum been on the ground, you understand man, me? Man, you did. So I, I, it was I, like, what, was since you a comedian was back then? Nah, man, I, I I wanted to be a comedian. I, You know, I was a hustler, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, dope, Rob Banks. Uh, shot niggas and shot and and did a lot of shit, but I did music too. I was signed with Mac Ten Ice Cube. Oh, man. swear! Yeah, I did music. I did, man, I'm, I'm one of the coolest. What was your rap name? Boo Capone. Capone. Oh, Capone. You know, so I probably yeah. remember you then because yeah. I, you know, I, I followed, you know, well, not follow like Instagram. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh -huh. You know, but it like, wasn't no Instagram. You know, wasn't none of that. Movie. Yeah, of course. But like, you know, um, motherfucking every LA like artist, you know, from the from the Ice T to the Ice Cube to the Crazy. you know. To uh, fucking uh, you know Mac Tens and shit like that. I grew I, up I with followed, them dudes. You know, and I listened mm. to like when when Clicks was evolving, you know, yeah. stuff like that. It was like, hold on. And then it was like, why Mac Ten don't like ain't over there like with Death Row, you know, and different little shit like that. Now I mean, it Wasn't was like happen. you know he had his own. And then you had the Dog Pound, well, you know, well, and shit well, like not that. Not to cut you off, man. We fucked that up with a crippling and blood. Yeah. Like we couldn't we yeah. dumb moves. Especially. So in those we went times. back them times, you would never that's when we did that song where he said, I got I got Snoop and Cube rapping. How did that happen? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With Mac. You ever seen the movie Thick in the Water? Yeah. The, I started yeah. that. I had the brown khaki suit. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I recognize the this nigga from somewhere. I started bro. that Hell movie. Yeah, I, I remember watching that movie I like a, the movie. A, a couple of times. Yes, too. sir. Yes, sir. We, I mean, every day was a shit ass fat Joe. He was on he just this big use uh podcast and he told you, Fat Joe, every day was a shootout. Every day was a fight. Damn, for yeah, real? Yeah, doing LA? that movie. Doing that movie. Thinking of water. Oh, yeah. Movie, Fat Joe, water. go watch Big U Checking In Podcast. Fat Joe gonna tell you. Fat Joe and him rode with us. Yeah. Right? They, yeah. It was in the movie. Snoop was supposed to be in that fucking movie. Yep, Fat Mac Joe was, was in the movie. Mac was gonna sign. Big pun. I was a big yep. pun to my nigga. Mac was gonna sign Snoop. Right? We mm -hmm. all we all at the month and we all signed it, uh, Priority Records. Right there on Sunset, the priority. priority. Mac Ten was gonna try to sign Snoop. No, he's signing him. Yeah, I, I think I was just I just seen him talking about Snoop on the tell podcast. You. Or yeah, some Snoop shit. said. Oh, Dog okay. can tell you, Mac had one point eight for Snoop. Uh, Snoop was gonna come with the album "Fuck Death Row," and 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 and, and this is real spit. Rest in peace, my nigga Pooh Rider. I'm, I'm signed already. Suge and Pooh Rider ran up on me. My brother was there, like, "What's up with this Wooty Wati Wop?" You know what I'm saying? With this uh, fucked up with Snoop over there with y'all, boo. Mm -hmm. And most of them niggas ran up on me. My brother's right there. My brother's a rock em, sock em robot. We rock em, sock em robot. So I'm looking at Suge <laughs> like, I'm looking at Suge like, nigga, you got some penitentiary legs. I'm going for them legs, nigga. Penitentiary <laughs> legs? You know, the, the, the two pick legs. All upper body. Yeah, you all yoked yeah, up at the like, ain't up no leg top. machine in right. the prison. Yeah. But they, they approached me, bro. My brother was there, but they approached me. Them niggas like, what's up with that, boy? I'm looking at Pooh Rod, he about my size. Rest in peace, Pooh Rider. Mm -hmm. um, that's Wax, big homie. Rest in peace. Oh, okay. And um, I'm looking at Suge. Suge, let me say, I know you want to wrestle. I'm going to wrestle your big ass, Suge. I'm going to take them legs from you. And I'm going to get the best of you. Because <laughs> them legs ain't. I ain't going to fuck with you up top. You, I'm going yeah! You, you think you would have been able to wrap Suge up? I mean, I would take them legs. Them legs, little. And back then, nigga, I was, nigga, back then, nigga, I was Tucky Williams. Nigga, I, that's what all OG I say. Nigga, know, back right? in the day, nigga, I had them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was yoked up. I was like, hey, hey, come come the we didn't take pictures back in the day. There was no video. I was cups and saucers. OGs be lying about shit. Because they ain't have pictures. Right. Hey, Pasadena, get your tickets right now, July 7th. You feel me? The tour starts. I'm starting in Pasadena. So bring your roses, bring whatever you need to bring. Bring your lady, ladies, bring your man, you understand me? At 
act like a fan. Come on, man. Show you boys some love. I'm finna be popping shit, swallowing spit. You understand me? Come on, get your tickets right now. I'll see y'all in a minute. Hey, comes the song. True story though, but uh, Snoop ended up uh, signing with Master P. Master yeah. P and them ended up uh, getting a deal with Priority Records on that label. Mm -hmm. Brian Turner, I remember we was in this shoe because we had the Crips and Blood, mm -hmm. we had the Who Bangers, yeah. we had Sixties, we had Monk. You remember we had the Southside Compton, we had Inglewood, the Jungles, we had everybody together. Mm. Q put that together. That oh really? Q? Yeah, that nigga <laughs> throw up hella shit. That's Cuban. what I think about LA nigga. They throw yeah. up shit. Right. Like, they they niggas don't throw up nothing. Yeah. Nigga. We just That's why. Yeah. 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 yeah, we just gonna pop uh, our collar on him. Yeah, for real. I mean, now that's just like gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas yeah. 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 do throw up that little. Yeah, just one though. Just one little You know what I mean? Whatever it may be. Yeah, y'all crazy. But now, real spit. Brian Turner, we in there shooting dice. K back, my nigga from Sixties. We all in that motherfucker at Priority Records, right there at the CNN building. We in that motherfucker shooting dice. We and that mother, we took over the whole building. So Brian Turner coming in and said, "Hey fellas, can you guys get it together? Uh, Master P and them. Fuck Master P and them niggas. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck if they sign. What's up, blood? Cool, cool, quick, quick. This is blood and quick. And it's crazy to have back then to have niggas say blood, none of them say yeah. cuz, and we together. Yeah. Fuck wow. your mind. Back then, that's the nineties. Yeah, the grimy nineties, shady eighties. Yeah, and so." Nigga, Brian Turner owns party. Come on, guys, man. Fuck Master P and them niggas. Give a fuck. Blood, blood, crip, crip, blood, blood. Well, you and know Master P and them got that nah. game from the bank, man. We don't they got that game from the soil, man. From the soil, let's from not go that far. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. We did, bad boys. But let me, let me land. Let me land. Mm -hmm. So, uh, not the watch. That's my, my mercy. So, Master P, so, so, they said they come. We like, man, fuck Master P and them niggas. So we waiting. We like, nigga, what's fuck these niggas? And niggas got off the elevator, all them niggas was six nine, seven feet. <laughs> we all five four. He's like, hey, yeah, your office is over here, Pete. <laughs> Can we get you to your office, man? You need some coffee? Them niggas all seven feet. For Silk, real, him and his brothers. Them niggas is giants. Damn. They giants. They gi them niggas up. Best be probably the little side of all his brothers. Really? Silk is about six nine. See, no, he probably see that in your house. I'm not. not I'm tall. not putting them niggas. Listen, they was on the label. I did. I did the, uh, they, the soundtracks. They was playing. I hoop. did all that. I mean, they was hoopers. Yeah. 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 Master P, the littlest of them all. Wow. Yeah. And they came over, and that's how Snoop, Snoop, Master P called Snoop in the office and signed him. Oh. That Master P signed him. That's how Snoop got over there with with uh, No Limit, and that was probably the best thing for him. Yeah, but Snoop was supposed to be in that movie, Thick in the Water. Yeah, it kept to be in that Snoop movie. out of the politics because they yeah. were trying to kill Snoop. Yeah, yeah. they were trying to shoot him, trying to kill him. He yeah. was in a, um, a bulletproof armor truck all the time. Yeah, yeah. dog man, shout out to dog. That nigga been through a lot, man, bro. Shout yeah. out Snoop. Shout dog. Out, he man. been through a shout lot, out bro. Unk, man, a real legend, I'm man. Real, real legend, man. And just yeah. hearing some of like you know Snoop interviews, you know what I mean, of like it's, it seemed like he kept his cool, you know, during those times so much where he felt like you know he didn't have nothing, you know what I mean. And but but P gave him that opportunity and kind of like honored him, you know, asked somebody, you know, and and put him in this situation in, in a house, you know what I mean, got him a car, you know, put some yeah. money in his pocket. Yeah. And you know, took him out of you know this uncomfortable situation. Even being in L.A. because you know you got to think about it. Him going through everything, going and motherfuckers trying to kill him and you know shit like that. Yeah, man. Just being out here could have been dangerous for him. You know for what sure. I mean? So good thing you know. He, and, he, yeah, you know. Master P for sure. I think Master P don't really get the credit he deserved too. Because you got to think about it for him to be around this long and still you know because he's still in L.A. So yeah. he. he he for sure connected and respected with some motherfuckers yeah. if he just been out here for that long. Yeah, for uh, sure. Yeah, he a boy. A Shout out Master P for yeah. sure. West Coast Bad Boys, Down South Hustler. And uh, but to see with Snoop, that kind of, you know, gave Snoop, like you said, to get away, go to Louisiana and yeah. get away from L.A. And, yeah. and just make him think and do them albums. Because you need peace of mind to, to create, you know. Right. So one thing about Snoop, Snoop got a great energy. He got a great yeah. Energy, you yeah. you feel me? I mean, tell my uh, aura, yeah. yeah. Tell my son, my son Aramis was five at the time. He was nineteen now. Shout out to my son, only nigga on my neck, Aramis. He told Aramis he gave him a thousand dollars here because my son did his album. He did a, um, a drop, oh, okay. and he told my son, he said they never paid me, nephew. Get paid and gave him, like he was like they never paid me. Get paid. I you, cried. Yeah, you a real, you a real LA, uh, real LA legend, man. Real, you know. Have you ever like? 
not lived in like LA like have you ever lived out of state or anything or you always spend time in California like always in LA but I did I was on the uh, on the RZA I, I didn't been nigga said on, on the RZA <laughs> yeah 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 LB <laughs> hey hey look man I, I, I lived a few times I lived in Texas my people from Dallas uh -huh. I lived in Dallas for a couple years cause you was on the run on the RZA. <laughs> I lived in uh, Atlanta for a couple years why niggas always go to freaking... Dallas like I was on the yeah, run I went yeah, to Dallas yeah, too my family was, from Dallas it was a few bad niggas that was on the run with yeah, the Dallas yeah. too my family was <laughs> Texas, yeah. Texas Texas oh Texas. probably got some kin folk down there yeah, yeah. You know, Texas hopefully. Louisiana I would tell y'all where I go if I was on the road, but I never know what might happen. And I, was, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't do nothing illegal that no more. location, yeah. I'm more under than all. Yeah. yeah. I stay in Atlanta. Was, Atlanta was I go good. to the country, country. Right. Yeah. Atlanta was good. <laughs> Mama side. <laughs> they gonna get him in Beaumont. <laughs> Find a nigga in Texas, can I? <laughs> They go to Heathcliff, Louisiana. <laughs> when I was in uh, I, I, Atlanta, was cool back in the nineties, like ninety two, ninety three. They had the freak nick. I was, I mean, cause this old documentary about the freak yeah. niggas. Yeah. You went yeah. to the freak nick. I was there, man. That shit was crazy, man. The what was going nigga. on at the freak nick? Cause yeah. all the OGs don't want to talk about it. I wanted to put them punks that was down in in in, in uh, pumps in the bunk punks. Pumps in the bunk. It was a bunch punks. of niggas down in Atlanta. <laughs> well, pumps in the bunk. What's that? <laughs> them niggas had high heels on. And then, oh, they was, yeah, like, it sounded. They was trying to take over the business. No, no. You don't the business. They was yeah. They really? don't want to talk about that. They don't want to talk about that. I mean, Sweet. everything was gay in Atlanta yeah. back yeah, then. Back man. then too. Oh man, said. horses ate hay. My <laughs> <laughs> the horses ate hay. I'm telling you, I, I, it, it was a shocker to me. Yeah. Everybody was gay. Really? No shock. I don't got no smut on gay people. You gay, be gay. Yeah. But the freak nick. The, the thing about the freak nick is, I seen that bitch. Um, Kamala, what's that bitch? She the president now, the vice president. <laughs> that nigga said Kamala, Kamala Harris. Kamala, Kamala Harris. Harris. Yeah, that bitch was down there. I see that. <laughs> that bitch Kamala Harris was down no, there. You lying? So Kamala yeah, Harris was at the freak day. Yeah, looking like Dude, Ice Spice. That bitch was down there. And I gotta watch this documentary. Watch you know why? Because it's a lot of OGs. They like, go throw kids. No, no, but hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a picture they, they, they wouldn't know. So there's a lot of OGs. This was going viral just like a week ago. This one OG uh, girl, you know, coming out like knowing that she'd have been at the Freak Neek, mm -hmm. potentially doing some strange, you know what I mean, for a little bit of change. Uh, yeah. Whatever it may be on some shit, you know what I mean? Like, um, you know, like, I don't want, like, I don't want y'all to put that out there. You so know, because she that said was me something when I was, before it came out. Before it came out. Yeah, like, you might see me in there doing some shit. My Uber driver she picked me up. It was a random lady. Picked me up, black lady. She was like, ooh, that freak me coming out. And I'm nervous. I'm like, you was in it? She was like, yeah, yeah, we had a blast back in the day. Yeah. And uh, uh, she was like, she was like, where? Because I'm headed to the airport. Yeah. She's like, where are you from? I'm like, yeah, I'm from the Bay Area. She was like, yeah, too oh. short. I had a good time with too yeah. short back in the day. I said, yeah, sure, you see me. And Todd, nigga, you know you from LA. He was a good dude, type yeah. shit. <laughs> so yeah. I'm like, damn, she was outside. I'm like, she know short. She been on Freak Nick. And Todd, too short. Look up, where's the camera? Mm. Short, you know you from LA, nigga. Short from the Bay, man. Well, yeah. He's from, from the LA, Baldwin Hills. He knows. I just talked to him at your yeah, show. I mean, well, look, listen, he's from Baldwin Hills, know, look, but he's from the Bay. No, I always fuck with that. I, I get that. I get it. Y'all can't. We don't got enough. We can't. We can't take short. Yeah, y'all can't take short. No, no, they don't got. They don't got short. But we know short. You know, was originally born in LA. I know. I just fuck with him. And he got folks out here. No, no, I just fuck with him with that because he he represents the Bay, and that's where he's from. But he's from Baldwin Hills. Because he was raised. You know what I mean? Bobby Hills game. Crips, I know you. Yeah, yeah. but I'm hey, look, Paul, the hey, game. look, Paul Pierce is really from Oakland. Uh, yeah, talk that shit. Paul Pierce from Oakland. He done told me. Eagle Wood. No, he from Oakland. He told me. He's from Oakland. I know. I know. I know. I know. Because I try to tell him, he's like, you know, I'm really from Oakland. I'm like, okay, give me that then. Yeah. All Star Game in Chicago, and I never even knew. But I'm like, so every time I get a chance to tell motherfuckers like an LA nigga, like, yeah, nigga, Paul Pierce, nigga, really from Oakland. That's a good. That's a good point. Point. That's yeah. good Inglewood though. And I told Paul, I mean, get some money <laughs> and fix up that jail. Inglewood High School look like a green jail. Come <laughs> a on, green Paul. Jail. <laughs> like a green jail. Paulie, my nigga, though. I love him to death. Shout yeah. out, Paul. I love Pierce, him to death. Him and Pierce, Baron man. Davis, yeah. man. Yeah. Rest yep, in peace, BD. Moms Dukes, man. You man. understand me? I know his mom just passed away, yes, man. Yes, sir. Paul you know, praying good dude. for the family, man. Real nigga, man. Paul Paul's Pierce a good dude. Lynch. They had me coaching that. They celebrity guy. Magic used to do it. Mm -hmm. And he gave it to them, them uh, uh, Heckle and Jekyll. Uh, Paul and, and Baron Davis, and it, you know we had a ball. They had me coach one year. Uh, you know I was loaded. I was just the hell of a coach. I was just running around acting a fool. It's my niggas and my kids. Um, yeah, I love them niggas. But funny thing with Oakland, man, my nigga Aunt Banks, 
Shout out Ann Bass. I love it. He gave me, um, he gave me what, 10,000? Uh, we did the um, NWA reunion album mm. when I was on Party Records, Amp Banks. And Ann is a fool, man. I remember we was we was in the studio uh, doing, the song, doing, doing the record. And so we take a break. It's E40. That's when DJ Pooh had to, had to um, contract the St. Ives. Pooh comes to the studio. He got a bunch of cases of St. Ives. We drinking St. Ives. So Ann Banks said, man, Pooh, that, that we want to go to the uh, Shark Bar. That's when we had the Shark Bar out here on uh, Los Angeles. So me, Mac 10, <laughs> Gary Payton, Amp Banks, E40, GP, shout out GP. Uh, uh, D Shot. It was what? So we had the Shark oh, that's Bar. That's real. I saw we had the shark, OGs. Uh, I mean, just OGs. This is a hell of a story. Um, Gary Payton, this is my nigga. Gary Payton talks so much shit. Him and Ann Banks argued like a motherfucker. They argued at the table. Mm -hmm. Argued. And so Ann Banks said, nigga. Ain't you supposed to be playing in the playoffs? <laughs> put them, they put them out. They put the Saudis out. Uh -huh. So, oh, nigga, I ain't talking about your beats. And so, nigga, we, we eat at the Shark Bar. We go back to the studio. E-40, Earl, mm -hmm. he, uh, nigga, Aunt Banks said, hey, boo, you still can drink? I said, nigga, I drink this big-ass nigga on the table. Me, E-40, Aunt, we doing shots and that tequila. Then we drinking. You ain't, you ain't out drink Uncle Earl, man. Yeah, Uncle Earl got on, them glasses. His glasses going from here to there. I had, you, know, uh, you know, you know, Forty little tizzy when this shit get like right here. Him, nigga. <laughs> that nigga had his shit from right there. He was good. He was just blah 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 blah. He starts speaking blah blah blah. And Banks already knocked out. CJ Mack and him had to carry that nigga out. And CJ Mack. True story. Me and Earl going, I couldn't out drink Earl. Uh, Earl shit got right here. You know, he said, <laughs> <laughs> Mugsy all that, man. Mm -hmm. True story, man. So, uh, you know, I was Mugs on party. Mugs Minglewood? No, Mugs, nah, that's my nigga, Big oh, okay. Mug. I'm talking about Mugs, 840 brother. Oh, okay. Mugs, okay. But Mugs, I know Mugs, light skinned Mugs mm -hmm. from Sinella. But um, E40 can drink under the table. But Ann Banks, is just, it was just, just to give him his, his flowers, bro. It's a talented bro, man. He, he he put me in a game where I was signed to Party Records, and they gave me to do the NWA reunion album. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a classic. You, I, I feel like you like. I think you like being a rapper more than being a comedian. Huh? Well, my uncle said Uncle Doobie was the biggest pimp in L.A. He said he rap better than do comedy. But see, I love comedy. I love comedy. I love because I can roast. I was a heckler. I ain't gonna lie. I don't think nobody can out roast. Oh, our roast is different on the West Coast, though, because, you know, Chicago, them niggas funny, boy. They know how yeah. to roast. Atlanta got some niggas that know how to roast. We they told fast. their ass up in Atlanta. Really? We told them niggas down. Where? Nigga in Atlanta. You better ask all them niggas. Who the biggest niggas out there? Uh, with the, with the Set roasting? Set it off with the roasting. We what did era roasting. are you talking about? What era? Right now. Yeah, right right now. We just did it. We had, uh, you got, we of got course, all DC on fly. He's not really a roaster no more, but no, DC is roast. still DC flame funny. your ass. Nigga, but uh, I'll tear his ass up. Uh, I told uh, my nigga. Who's the nigga? My nigga. K-Dub know how to roast. Man, K-Dub, my nigga. I'll tear his black ass up. I oh, told, we got to uh, get, uh, we got to get take. We got to get K-Dub. We got to get this on record, K -Dub, man. K-Dub, say boo. You the so nigga. So K-Dub will come on the Cali King back in I'll tear that back ass Boo's nigga up. Boo roasted him. And he, he was on Roast Me. He was on oh. Roast Me. All them niggas was on Roast Me. I love my Atlanta niggas, but I'll tear them niggas up. Mm. Set it off. Set it off. Chris Jones. That nigga, he probably in, 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 in Double D. That man, Double we got, D call We got to the roast battles, we boy. Gotta, no, I'm the best. You. Only nigga, let me tell you something. Craig, Craig Smith, Craig Smith. is a beast. That nigga said something the other day, nigga. He, he, he mind boggles me, it, and I fuck him over. Listen, <laughs> you think you you think you can bet you go? Nigga, I think every of season five. Get up, Craig. <laughs> I told his ass up, and Craig, he's a beast. Craig's Craig a beast. is a beast with that roast. And Craig, thing. one thing about Craig, he, I always call him the Black Bill Murray. Uh -huh. Cause that nigga say some shit that make you think. You think? And three day, man, man, that nigga called me a, a mosquito snout <laughs> or some shit. People on the comments still be just dropping the comments. Like, lose a mosquito. I'm like, man, whatever the Craig, fuck Craig listen, said. Craig probably one of the great. He just uh, he said to me the other day. We did a show the other day. That nigga said, "Boo, just lay somewhere. He don't have nowhere to stay. He just lay down." So, I mean, you know. Yeah. But but if you watch season five, man. I, I'm the greatest that ever did it. Yeah, I'm, Boop, yeah. I fucked up. D-Ray, listen, D-Ray was the only nigga. When D-Ray first came out here, uh -huh. I'm fresh out of prison. Uh -huh. My nigga Bird, rest in peace. I'm like, who is this D-Ray character? Everybody talking about D-Ray. Uh -huh. I'm saying, who is he? Uh -huh. We go up to the Empire. This is 20-something years ago. Damn. Damn. I, he said, there we go right there. D-Ray got a leather. 
outfit on. Funny as hell. Oh, D-Ray's a beast. Yeah, he got a leather out, outfit on. So I just run up on him. I said, nigga, you naked under there. <laughs> and so everybody's out there. I said, nigga, you look like uh, Common Sense with Down Syndrome. And that nigga said, give it up to any homeless nigga that got his own show. And then, it, <laughs> then, then D-Ray told the bitch, I'll never forget this show. He told the bitch, because they try to, you know, when you bag him. You told the bitch, uh, bitch, you coming out with a new cereal called Eat a Bitch. <laughs> That's the funniest shit to me. Eat a bitch. A cereal called Eat a Bitch. That bitch, oh man, D Ray's a beast. Yeah. Um, uh, Bubble Lamb was a beast. Bubble, uh, Bubble Lamb from I'm Detroit. Not familiar. His old okay. school comedian. Tommy Chung from Detroit was a, was a beast. Detroit niggas for sure. Yeah. Shout out to D. You know, Oakland, the D, Detroit, yeah, man. Barry, Detroit. Detroit yeah. Man. You know, we game related. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's Corey Holcomb. Corey Holcomb was probably yeah. one of the great. Corey, Corey's a beast, yeah, too. Yeah, Corey oh, know how to Corey, roast. Corey know how to do it. Yeah. Corey, Corey know how to roast. Um, yeah, but, but, but we used to be outside that motherfucker all day. But me being a comedian, I, had to, I was the heckler. You know, I got banned from a lot of places because I wouldn't let the comedians do their job. Oh, and I was that, the worst. And, that's, and that was before you was a comedian. Before I was a comedian. Yep. Before I was a comedian. That's crazy. That made me. Um, I did. I, I was on a cruise when I was seventeen. I was thinking about um, getting into comedy uh, when I was seventeen. I was thinking about it and like what I'm gonna do when I get out of high school. <clears throat> so by end up going on a cruise to Mexico with my family type shit. My cousin's shit You know it was a weak ass comedian On the cruise Cause you know They have comedians Perform on the cruises Man the comedian Was so ass I started roasting The comedian And uh, all my cousins Shit was like Nigga You was funnier Than the comedian Bro you should perf you, you like Go You should be there. a comedian Type yeah. shit that's, that's what But it was crazy Cause I already Was thinking about Being yeah. a comedian Before that happened yes, And I didn't even do it I didn't try to steal the show I didn't go to the show Heckling the nigga Yeah Bro was so ass, the crowd was quiet, and I just said something, and the crowd laughed at me type shit. And, that, yeah. and then you got bit with it, because you, I, I study you, uh, you, you, this nigga dope. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm sure. not a buddy hustler. I don't, I'm not a buddy hustler, I just oh, tell the truth, bro. I, I was at the improv, I seen I said, oh, okay. When you know when a motherfucker got it. Yeah, right. when you got it. And then I followed you from, I said, oh, this nigga been in the game with all deaf and Doing the, at the uh, roast me beginning yep, of the shit. Yep, I've been outside. Yeah, but I said your stand up. <laughs> see, it's a difference between oh, like, 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 like stand up. Stand up. Yeah. Stuff, that's the hardest job in the world. Yeah, a no, lot. I, I, a lot of people that's good at roasting can't transition. Can't transition. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I think that's, I'm a better stand up comedian than a better roaster. Exactly. I, like when I see y'all, y'all be outside roasting. I don't yeah. even participate. You, don't you feel me? I'm a macker. You understand me? Nigga try to roast me. I'm gonna start roasting you about you not having yeah, no, bitches. no bitches. You know what I'm saying? I'm a like personal roaster. Like I don't get mad. I'm not yeah. a person that's gonna get mad. But I, I don't. I don't be like chicken head ass. Like yeah, yeah. That 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 Mm -hmm. yeah, in L.A., bag. bag. We yeah, put you in a body bag. Uh -huh. That's where the bagging come from. That roasted okay, shit yeah, was We used to say bag, ba man, why you bagging me out? Yeah, bag. Oh, like we we, uh, we, we would bag. Uh -huh. So me wanting to be a comedian, I've already I, I, I've already dominated rap. I battled everybody in rap. I'm a lyricist. Mm -hmm. I, and, and But I used to love comedian because I'm, I'm a funny guy. I could, I could bag since school. Mm -hmm. I was a class clown. I was just... You know, the gang banger that made everybody laugh, and, you know, <laughs> yeah. put their guns down. This, we gonna go laugh, nigga. We ain't gotta shoot everybody. Yeah. But, you know, but, I, I always wanted to, like, you know, do comedy. I, little no. Yeah, you tried it. <laughs> I, 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 try, I tried it one time, you man. You got hit with you tomatoes. Know, um, it was a hard crowd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be too much crowd. It, be a little tough it was, in Oakland. It was, it was, you, gotta had, come, you gotta come up there, man. I got Tommy sure. T's. I did Tommy T's. No, you gotta come to Oakland. You gotta come to Oakland. It's different. Yeah. That, going out there, yeah. we shut out that. We love everybody, but yeah. Yeah. that's a whole... That's like... Oakland's basically, Tommy T's would be like Clo Clover City. Okay. And Clover City. Clover City. Uh, yeah. Santa Monica. Yeah. Oh, okay. And Oakland would be South Central. South yeah, Central. Exactly. So that's like Oakland. being like... Yeah, telling yeah, the nigga, talking. yeah, you know, I told some jokes in L.A. Like you told jokes in Santa Monica. Santa Monica. You yeah, gotta exactly. come to South Central. Gotta come to South Central. Yeah, so yeah. we be he performed in South Central of yeah. Oakland. Yeah. I mean, of the Bay. And, 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 yeah. and I, I came in with a, a strategy. I had my storyline. I had my jokes. I didn't come in bagging, right? You know, and it was my first time. And you know, it was. And, and I'm good in front of the camera, you know, just in general. But this being my first time, and then feeling like, okay, I know these motherfuckers in here, low key, yeah. or they know me, yeah. and they just sitting there waiting for me. 
me to say something funny. Mm -hmm. And I thought I said, you know, some funny shit, you know what I mean? And once I didn't get the reaction, I kind of got thrown off. Yeah. And Lou told me, he's like, you know, like, you is a funny motherfucker, you know, in real life, you know, on some shit. But now be, that stage funny is something totally different. Man, and then just knowing the comparisons of, like, you know, bagging and yeah. storyline. And that's how, like, I, I, I look at it, right? You know, yeah. something that you kind of got, you know, planned to lead up and then, you know, punchline. So I, I would say, like, you are more so of a, you know, a bagger get up on stage without uh, having, like, this um, this script that you're going to go on. No, no. It like, took me 20 years. Process? It took me 20 years to get to where I'm at right now on stand-up. Mm. And I'm light years away. I see a nigga like Louis Bell get up there. I'll be like, damn, boy, you need practice. And I've been <laughs> yeah. 20 years. I've been doing it 20 years. Damn. Uh, comedy is a bitch that ain't going to love you every night. Yeah. That hoe ain't going to give you no pussy every night. That's that gay. pussy might feel good. That's real spit. When I first did it, Renato Ray, I used to go to uh, uh, Living Color. My homies was a stage manager in Living Colors. Mm -hmm. I used to uh, heckle Jamie. Oh, Jamie, shit. get out that hospital. Yeah, Jamie man. used yep. to, they, Jamie would be in Jamie. the motherfucking street in the parking lot with us. Jamie, we're filming. Jamie would be with us, and he just, because I, I was giving it to him. I would heckle. I would heckle. I'm the heckler. So Jamie and them. Yeah, Jamie. Yeah, Jamie I put that foot in there. Ooh, that's Are you oh, fucking oh, kidding me? That, you anybody you know, Jamie Fox. Anybody you know me? Show me this. Anybody, <laughs> it's on tape, nigga. Oh, Jamie Fox hey, destroyed me. Hey, hey, let me tell you yeah. something. Yeah. Anybody know me? Tuck, tuck in, nigga. Mm -hmm. In L.A. I used to go to the limit. Man, listen to me. When Alex Thomas, Dill Heath, was was the warm up guys, I would be in the motherfucking stand, stand killing these niggas. Ask Alex. Roast I'm the ask Alex. That's one of my Ask OGs. Alex. I've been on Alex thirty years. Yeah. Ask Alex. Ask Jam Jamie. Will tell you. Hey, and Scotty will tell you. I can go to Jamie's house up in the dirt and day and at three o'clock in the morning they open that gate. The grandma and them open the gate. Ask Trey Elliott. I, bullshit ain't nothing but chewed up grass. I ain't never, but I'm not a buddy hustler. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm 50 years old, bro. Yeah. I don't lie, bro. Deal. I'm FOT. Follows of the truth. I always tell the truth. The truth gonna set you free, man. Oh, my. That's on my mama. Rest in peace. My mama was murdered. Sugar mama when I was nine years old. Damn. But you know, in South Central. Facts, let me land. So, <laughs> let me land. I'm gonna stay there. I like that. Let me like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, Jamie and them, you say, yeah, boo, you can browse, and, but can you do what we do? So them niggas coerce me. Uh, uh, Chris Spencer, his uh, uh, greasy face ass, he'll tell you. Greasy from Inglewood, <laughs> my nigga Inglewood, Chris Spencer. They coerce me to get on stage. My first time on stage at the Clown House, the Town House. Yeah, in Inglewood, uh, Inglewood, lot to uh -huh. hear. Clown House. Renardo Ray, rest in peace, hosting. Uh -huh. Hosting. Nigga, my first time, I got a big ass afro at the time. I'm nervous as fuck. You know, to get on that stage, I'm drinking like a motherfucker. I got 10 bitches with me. I got a couple of homies. <laughs> you had 10 bitches with 10 you. 10 bitches. I got all the bitches. Because I know. He I, thought nobody was going to catch that. 10 I had bitches. 10 bitches. I got 10 bitches. The homies. Says, stage. No, no, the bitches just there. You got to have business. You got to have some business. Oh, yeah, wow. I had the Barker Beauties. Listen, so, What's a Barker Beauty? You know, the Barker. You know, uh, from. Uh, uh, what's that show with. Uh, Bob Barker. Barker. Bob Barker. Bob Barker. The Barker Beauties. The Barker Beauties. The Barker Beauties. <laughs> Bob Barker. Yeah. From, from, from uh, uh, Will of Fortune. Will of, nah, I wasn't Will of Fortune, no, nigga. No, Price is right. Price is right. Yeah, Price, Price is right. <laughs> I was just with uh, Miss Parker. She was on the. Listen, let me land. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous as fuck, so mm -hmm. I get faded. I'm, I forget my whole routine. <laughs> I forget my whole routine. And this is your first time going out of routine? First time ever on stage. Oh, okay. First time at the Clown House. The Town House. Uh -huh. I call it the Clown House. <laughs> um, it's 20-something years ago. Uh -huh. So, if you know, if you know, right there on Lot to Hear, it's a, it's a, um, with, with a, uh, the, the post office bit, the old post office women worked there. Uh -huh. They all come over there to watch comedy. They in their uniforms, about 30 black bitches. Old black bitches. <laughs> They gave me the keys. I forgot my I forgot my material. Uh -huh. I got nerves. I was stuck like a deer in the uh, headlights. Uh -huh. Have you ever been stuck? Yeah. And all I can say, suck it. Suck it, you bitch. The motherfuckers gave me the keys. You, you telling the, the crowd to suck your dick? Hell yeah, because they gave me the keys. The old women. So the keys mean you're doing bad? You that drown you out. The like the light. You can't oh. hear nothing. This thing about 50 old black bitches. Keys. Oh, so that was like something. the light? No, that you can't. It's like it's like get off stage. It's like it throwing a tomato. It drowns you out. It drowns you out. 
Just think about when you shake your keys. Clock, 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 wow, clock, clock, I never clock, thought I'd never seen that. I got that. the keys. That's some real comedy shit. Oh, right? they go crazy, huh? Because when they do the keys, it drowns you out. Yeah. Just think about 50 people with the keys. Shake your keys, shake that it. would be it loud. It would drown you out. Can't nobody hear you. Clack, 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 clack. Fuck you old bitches. I'm mad at the motherfucker. <laughs> they threw you off. They threw nigga Renato Ray came back on the stage. He said, hey, somebody uh, put the light on that little comedian. Don't quit your day job, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, Scruncho was there. My, shout out to my nigga Scruncho. Shout out Scruncho, man. Uh, 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 Black OG, ass man. Uh, Al Tume. Uh, and them niggas came up to me and said, Hey, uh, boo, uh, yeah, you were loaded. You can't get, you know, Al Tume. <laughs> you can't get too much drunk, man. You got to get in the mirror. I was like, man, fuck it. They really wanted to fuck with the business I had. They, they didn't give a fuck about me. They, I had some business, you know what I'm saying? You know, people, they, uh, yeah, when you get in the mirror, uh, don't be too drunk. Uh, do three minutes, get you three minutes, mm -hmm. and get you six minutes, you got you eight minutes. And then you get to 15 minutes. When you get to 15 minutes, you're ready. And then you can go to 30. Yeah. And so that taught me to really, you know, don't get too faded. Yeah. Get your material right. Yeah. And then I, I was I was distraught, bro. I was like, man, fuck this comedy shit. This shit hurt. I'm going back to gangster rap. Why, why it's you, a lot of planning. Why that you goes think? Into it. Why you think like people that's hella good at roasting are like hood funnies can't transition the stage? Because I be wanting to encourage all the street niggas. Because the funniest people I know not comedians. Yeah. Right. So I be trying to encourage them to like just give it a try. Because you know, coming from you know a, a, a urban space, you feel me? Comedy is not cool because you don't want to come off like as a joke. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But it's like, um, you know. Nigga, them be the funniest people. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. My uncles, I got it from my uncle. Why, why is it? Why you feel like it's hard to transition though? Cause you hell of a roaster. You probably your your hardest competition probably been street niggas. Really, probably well, ain't no, been no. comedians. The thing about me, I, I killed it from there. I did six months, didn't do it, and I I, I killed it. Like comedy, it's like at the batting cage. Mm -hmm. Keep swinging, you are gonna get good. Mm -hmm. Stand up. I'm a killer at stand up. Mm -hmm. And one thing about me, I used to be scared to tell this. My brother said, "You're not a gangbanger anymore, boo." Mm -hmm. You're not a pimp. You're not a. You're a comedian. Tell yeah. your truth. I have man. I can talk about my uncles, my mama. I mean, this this my real shit. Some can't nobody steal nothing that's real to me. Oh, mama, right? right? Yeah. I talk about me. See, it's a difference between comedians and comics. Yeah. Uh -huh. Comedians, we talk about us. Facts. Comics talk about them. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Comedians, we make things funny. Comics yeah. say things funny. Mm. So it took me years to go deep in me. I gotta be butt naked truth. Tell yeah. my truth. Yeah. And I used to always look for the laugh. Fuck that laugh. I'm gonna make you think. Mm. Right? Yeah. I'm always looking for the laugh. No, that laugh is fuck that laugh. I want the people the quiet is really when you're doing good, when they're quiet. Yeah, I I'm, I'm I've been learning. They're paying that. attention. Yep. I've been learning that. Yeah, because then you could deliver your punchline because they Silence used to scare me. I thought when yeah. it got Thank quiet, you. I thought I wasn't doing good. Thank you. But that means they really listening. But it can't be just silent the whole nah, time. No, no, it can't be silent. No, no, it can't be silent. It gotta, you it's gotta, a roller coaster. Exactly. It's a roller coaster. Bring them up, yeah. drop them. Exactly. Bring them up, drop them. Yeah. Because I yeah. seen you at the improv, man, and I was like, because it was the first time I really seen you, you know, mm -hmm. do what you do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I was looking like, Cause you know how niggas think, oh, this nigga, who's this nigga? Why he up there hosting? Mm. Why is this nigga there? Yeah. And then I said, okay, now I see. I see why he's there. Mm. This nigga funny. Yeah. And he talked to the crowd. So it took me a long time to learn just how to talk to the crowd. Mm. Just talk to him. Mm -hmm. Conversation. Yeah. Because it ain't about your jokes, it's about you. Right. Mm, that's what right? I'm learning. It ain't you know? about no jokes. They, you're funny. Your movements, you might say, hey, hell, why, 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 whatever you, you're funny. They ain't the jokes that's funny. It's you. They, they invest in you, right? Yeah. It took me three or four years to take over and roast me. I am the MVP of season five. Uh, I kicked Craig in his head. Get up, Craig. <laughs> I kicked, and he's, Craig's the greatest. I, I kicked them niggas in the ass because they're my kids. I've been tearing them <laughs> niggas up. For years, Brent, them uh, hilarious, yeah, hilarious guys, yeah, yeah. hilarious. Teddy, man, recipe. Teddy's probably the one creator of the all roast He's the creator. Me? The Teddy Rest them created the whole fucking channel. Yes, he Teddy did. and Dope Boy. Yep, they created the Shout channel. Out Dope Boy, Russell Simmons, you two fat Ray. motherfuckers, come here. Teddy Ray and Dope Boy. Yep, created that channel for sure. I'm. Um, and I remember Patrick, who 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 put me on, who got me on roast me, and uh, Brandon Brody. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Brandon Brody, I swear yeah. to God, because we was at. Remember they used to have the um at at, at Chinese Theater. Uh, yep, yeah, on Wednesday. Remember on Wednesdays. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I, you know, I'm not. I don't know no internet shit. Nigga, yeah. I, nigga, I'm a pimp. Nigga, I got hoes. Nigga, I'm I'm up here. <laughs> but I used to tear Brandon Brody ass <laughs> he had up. Ten. He had I had, ten. I had, you I had ten know, that one, night. One pimpinac, two pimpinac, three pimpinac. That big that ball. <laughs> I'm at uh, the out up there at the bar, and Brandon Brody uh, 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 uh pickle juice face. Come up there with Patrick. Patrick looked like a homosexual roster. <laughs> and so Patrick Cloud and, and so Brandon telling Pat, like, this is the nigga, he can rose he's back, we doing this show. Mm-hmm. I'm like, this is before they really started. Oh, okay. I'm like, what what show y'all doing? It's called Rose Me. Uh, okay. Well, is it on channel two for say oh, okay. Uh shoe shoot it. Right? Cause I'm dumb. I don't know the internet is where it's at. It's not on um, uh, on land TV, anymore. It's yeah. online. Yeah. And yeah. so when it, and it came in at me again, I shoot shoot it. My son, it started blowing up. Y'all did episode one, two. I came in the end of two to three when I came in to roast me. Yeah. Because my son, Aaron, was like, Dad, it's millions of views. It's the gram. I said, yeah. you selling dope, nigga? No, IG, Dad, Instagram. <laughs> I didn't know nothing Instagram. about the gram. <laughs> he said, you selling dope? Like, selling I swear dope, to God. What? It's funny. Give me a zip. Me. Man, I swear <laughs> to God. That's funny. And that was the best thing when I, because all the homies, I was all over here, over there. Mm-hmm. And so when I, I wasn't I, over there, man, I was in the bay, man. I yeah. think that's why they be sleep on me, not knowing what I be having going on even out here, because man, you know, I, I always been back and forth my whole career, man. So you understand me, like what you said, I was that was that I fuck with you because you you said what niggas be thinking. How the yeah. fuck he hosted? How he up there? I up Nigga, there. I've been fucking around, man. I've been, been from the bay to L.A. to the A, hey, man. Been, Come on, I've been fucking with eighty five South since it was the with the brick. On the wall, with man. the bricks, you yeah. understand me? Five, six, seven years ago, you feel you me? Did. I've been fucking with D Ray and all this shit, man. I just don't be in niggas' faces, man. Exactly. That be yeah. the thing with niggas, man. Motherfuckers be thinking people moving because they're everywhere. Man, sometimes because you you running around everywhere don't mean you're moving, man. No, that's real. You understand me? Sometimes you got to da- dodge raindrops. Uh, come on. You understand no, I, me? I, 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 sometimes I not being seen no, no. is the biggest. And you. Well, Come on, seen. church Young on the move. Yeah. Hey, y'all close. I told the bitch the other day, the bitch, it was raining the other day. The bitch said, Booker Pound, I need an umbrella. I said, bitch, you better know how to walk between the raindrops. Yeah, you understand yeah, me? Yeah. Bitch, make a fish drown. Come on, man. I, <laughs> I'm trying to I impress me. Bitch, I knocked the bitch in midair and Booker for she hit the ground. Yeah, I man. put a wig on a pig and gave her ass. Yeah, a yeah put a coat on a goat. Hey, yeah, yeah, huh? A girl on a turtle. Yeah. Send <laughs> on Myrtle. Yeah. You understand me? We pop peas for the wannabes. You yeah. did. Yeah. 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 Come on, man. The bitch better get somewhere go somewhere. Yeah. One thing I know, one thing I don't need, a bitch with speed or hold it, I don't need. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. put a, I told you, man, the bitch, the bitch, the bitch came to me, she said, boo, man, hey, listen, man, I, you know, when I got out of pimping and robbing banks and, and gang banging the bitch, they, I, was, I was the greatest, man. Oh, my God. She said, boo, don't go to comedy. We'll make you laugh. And I said, no, nah, bitch, I'm out. I, I turned my back on the game, and, and, and I've been doing everything. I, I had the best sleep in my life, man. Uh-huh. Real spit. Uh, they murdered my mama, killed my sister, mm. uh, locked my dad up, man. And uh, the cold thing about it is, man, I talked to my mama every day, man. When I was in locked up, I told nephew, I said, my mama came to me in a dream, sugar mama. She said, boo, quit using my death to act a nigga. Hmm. I said, you right. I said, yeah, okay, mama. Yeah. She came to me, sugar mama. That, that, my mama was the coldest motherfucker you could ever. Oh, she was sweet. It wasn't mm. like these dumb niggas today. Uh, they fuck our language up. Think sugar mama means like a bitch that's giving the money yeah, to a young. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah. she was sweet, sugar mama. Mm. She'd take a gauge from me. You know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, my mama was the coldest man. Oh, she mama. was coldest. It ain't nothing like a mama, man. Oh man, well, and she, yeah. That's when I when I seen your. I, I love. Remember, I seen. Yeah. I, I I I love that man. I saluted that mm. because that that that's something I'm missing. Yeah. At nine, I lost my mama at nine. Man, I, so I never as a kid, I never got over it. It's just. It's just gonna be there, you know Hell what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, it's just gonna be there, man. And uh, when I lost my mind, my 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 mind, uh-huh. they murdered my sister, Big Angie, man. They, uh, the nigga, her boyfriend shot her twice in the chest with a 12 gauge on San Vicente. Yeah. yeah, my sister was there dead, man. This nigga had a needle in his arm. He overdosed, so we beat up the dead body. I ended up at the uh, glass house, and and, and and Big Angie, I never, you know, when you you, I, I gotta laugh, homie. That, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Same thing and make you laugh and make you cry. Exactly. Facts. Facts. So if I'm not doing jokes, if I'm not laughing, 
I'll get in my mind and I'll go do some stupid shit. Yeah, nigga, get in the dark. My mama always tell space, me, man, man, I don't mind. It's a devil's playground. Yes. Shut up. You understand me? So you thank you. Get thank too much God time. for this comedy. Yep. For I real. was telling our nephew, the white black guy in there. Uh, was it Trevor, wasn't it? <laughs> my nigga Trey. Trey, I love Trey. That's no jumper. He ran out there. Yeah, we ain't in no politics. You <laughs> nah, I love him. The white, he looked like, a, he looked like my out, cousin. Uh, uh, he looked like my nephew. VV, uh, uh, hold on, nigga. What's your shit? VBC, man. Yeah. Shout out VBC, man. Me. You understand me? You look like man. white trash. I love him. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking, Trey. I was telling him, man, I, when I was doing roast. VBC mean a lot of shit. Like, what are we talking about? When I was doing oh, roast. Oh, really? <laughs> nigga, BBC? BBC? <laughs> V. Oh, I'm about to say, yeah. hold on, BBC. What, Come on, what the you? other shit mean? What you talking about? Man, you know X videos. Oh. You know Pornhub. Nigga, I thought X. <laughs> I thought it'd be XXX. X, X. <laughs> XXX X videos, but BBC. <laughs> I love y'all, baby. <laughs> BBC. You know, like BBL. Oh, man. I'm like, this nigga BBC. Yeah. What are you talking about? I know, right? BBC. <laughs> the BBC. The BBC. You from Sacramento. That sounded crazy. <laughs> but I'm saying you. But no, nah, man, I was telling Trubia that this would change my perspective on a lot of things. Man, when I was doing Roast Me, it was season three, well, season four. Mm -hmm. And um, it was this uh, little kid, man, 14 years old, he's a transgender, used to DM me. Like, like you the greatest. You'd say, and you know, I'm from the hood. I'm like, nigga, what? But he, you know, he was getting bullied. And um, he wanted, he said, I'm gonna kill my, I'm gonna, he wanna kill himself. Cause he was getting bullied. But he said, boo, he used my jokes against the, the bullies. Uh, Stick him in the ass or something. You say, all yeah. the stupid shit I say. Yeah, let me land, let, let me land, land. let me land. And so they from either him and his mom, they came to the show. Uh, I can't, uh, Sanaa Lathan daddy, uh, what's his name? Uh, yeah, Stan, Stan Lathan. Yeah. We did a live show in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. This kid pulls up with his mama, man. Man, and that changed my life, man. He, I yeah. cried, bro. I bet, he said that's they some deep bullied, shit. They, but I, you, if it wasn't for you, I, it's a 14 year old, I look at trans people like humans, man. It changed my life. And I'll tell you another one, shout out to my homegirl Mimi, uh, uh, Husterette Mimi Deuce. Uh, Michelle Dukes. She gotta be from L.A. M Michelle that Dukes. That sound like some real L.A. <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, she, what she, you she, say she, she's a hooster ass. Mimi uh, Dukes. Mimi well, Dukes. we call her That's Mimi. LA shit but her name right. is Michelle Dukes. She be, uh, she be on uh, 51. She got her own liquor. Shout out Poppies. But, uh -huh. but we argue like a motherfucker at her apartment. Mm -hmm. Her and Barlow. We argue. I'm trying to tell them what it is about comedy. And then we go down to the elevator. I can't make this. This is my sugar. This is my mama. Rest in peace. These niggas about five deep come out the elevator. Mm -hmm. All dreads. Nigga see me booga pow, ah, nigga. I was gonna kill myself through the pandemic, nigga. You got me through. I got the goosebumps right now. I see, Damn, I see. That's crazy. My hair. That's how you know you telling the truth. Yeah, man. And I cried. Yeah. And um, you did. And yeah. uh, that that I said that was better than money. Yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck money. That right there for some niggas out that say nigga you saved through this pandemic. Yeah. We lost it all through this pandemic. Hell yeah. And look at us. We still here, man. Yeah. Uh, we still here, man. On mamas, nigga. So, sure. so I cry every day, man. I, mamas. You know, a, a person told me, I, Jim, Jim Valvano, man, I, I, I love sports. And he said, do one, do three things uh, each day. Cry, laugh, and think. Yep. Mm. I cry, I laugh, and think. It's probably day. hella easy to cry with them big ass eyes. I think like MC Hammer, brother. <laughs> Girl, MC Hammer, brother. It'll be raining when that nigga cry. Pump to the buck. Pump to the buck. It'll be raining when he cry. Y'all get up for Orlando Brown. We love you, Orlando. He's on a new movie. That nigga jack off, nigga, his ass in the mirror. We love you. He got winner that nigga eyeballs. That nigga got nigga pictures of LeBron. We love you, nigga. You Hey, hey, Boo, so Tell me, uh, hey, real quick. What, what I'm a you, lyricist, too. Where you get your name from? Buka Paul. Man, um, when I was born, my, like I said, my people, we from uh, Louisiana and, yeah. and Texas. So, Boo is a, just a term of endearment. My auntie, Jean Esther, she was an ice pick murderer. I've heard she'd that. Go to, she'd go to uh, Beverly Hills to kill white people. Rest what? Yeah, Damn, that got Jean She would go to Beverly Hills to kill white people. Yeah, she For made what? Just robbing. She was a robber. Oh. Uh, yeah, rest in peace, Gene Esther, man. That's my auntie. Uh, she called me Boo. They, you know, boo is, a, is like a term of endearment. Yeah. From, from Louisiana people. Before. Yeah. Oh, okay. My boo, boo, boo. Uh, when I was boo, I was bad boo. It was B O O. Two O's, not B U. They then took it and made boo like a bitch. Boo was a real nigga. And then Capone. <laughs> was a real nigga. Capone comes from my gang. 
Blood Gang, Bronson, Jungles, Bronson, yeah. Bitty Stuff. That's my gang, Bronson. Oh, so you from the Jungles? From the from the Bitty to the Jungle to uh, the Twenties to the Inglewood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We move, Bronson move though. Around. We Bronson. Okay, yeah. That, you know, and when you deal with gang activity, I, that's our clique, Bronson. Uh -huh. The umbrellas, the Jungles, the brother, the Bitty. That's the umbrella. Uh -huh. Right, uh -huh. but this is our crew. Like if you did with the mafia, uh -huh. like this is our Bronson, Bronson on the map now, my nigga. He been, you know, and um, that's where Capone came in. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, my brother really stuff like nigga. When we was little, so um, it's like some love and gangster shit in one name. In boom, one name, the love. I'm always Capone the, the gangster shit. The gangster shit, mm. but but. I'm all, but I, I had that name since I, since <laughs> I was a baby. Ten cents I would never change that. <laughs> yeah. I've never changed that. Uh -huh. that. That's a real name, a real hood name. I would never. How you a, how you feel about like out of state game banging? Cause like you know like what don't you think? Well, I'm not sure, but like did L. A. or like start this game banging? Yeah, show, right? L. A. We started um the game bang shit. Yeah, the colors. Chicago right. started the gangster shit. Oh, okay. Chicago, you gotta give it to Chicago. Uh huh. They started the gangster Al Capone. That was a gangster shit. Uh -huh. L.A. was uh you know uh, Orchard Field back then uh -huh. with Al Capone and them real coming out of Chicago. Mm. What's crazy to me? I was in New York. Them New York niggas. I never thought them niggas would uh, get on our get on That's our. That's what line. I was gonna ask you about. Like them you New know York New York niggas. be gang banging now. And they never should listen. The New York had gangs before anybody. Oh really? Yeah, they had to work. Well, not, not colors. Not yeah, yeah, colors. Yeah, I'm talking about colors now though. It's yeah. everywhere. It's, it's everywhere. Bloods and Crips. Yeah. Fat Joe and Team. Fat Joe said, "Boo, I didn't, I didn't think we was gonna do that because they Latin kings." Oh, I, yeah. I was nigga, my little homie, uh, baby, get keep your head up. He started the uh, motherfucking uh, the Bloods in New York. Yeah, mm -hmm. the little homie got out there. So that's how that happened. The L.A. nigga migrated. Man, out there. Man, I used to be in New York. Them niggas used to laugh at us, homie. I sure you pissed me, L.O. Cool J. Nigga, we had Chucks. They used to laugh at us. This mm. is 89, 90. We went back out there. Them niggas got five X, like, like, like five X white tees. We was like, ah, oh, homie, you can't wear it. Like, and I'm the one of the originators, too. You can ask uh, all them niggas out there, Dipset. Ask my nigga Pockets. Um, I'm going ask Jim Jones. Ask Jim Jones. <laughs> Them nigga who who Ask who? Jim Jones what? Why I need that? Yeah, about Boo Capone. <laughs> my nigga, a tragedy. You validate some of this shit. Man, listen, man. The fans they gon' they gon' validate it for you. Yeah. Watch the yeah. niggas that was there. Just my like nigga, that. tragedy. Intelligent Hullum. Uh -huh. huh? Intelligent Hullum. That's the name. Tragedy. He started Nas. He started all them niggas. Queen Bridge. Oh. Okay. Tragedy. He's okay, the he's yeah. original. He. If it wasn't for him, it wouldn't be no Nas. None of them niggas. Mm -hmm. Mob Deep. None of them. None of them. We was on tour together. Tragedy to tell you, homie. And in 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 Noriega and them and take, they got Capone. I was the first Capone. Boo Capone. Wasn't mm -hmm. nobody a Capone. In hip hop history, comedy, nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Look it up. Them niggas, we in San Diego doing a show. Nigga, we get down with some some nigga, them niggas tragedy to take it back. And Capone and Noriega, they start ask Noriega. Capone wouldn't call himself Capone. I was the first ever to do it on on on, 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 on entertainment business. The, the, the Capone, other one was Slink. What's the other Capone? Capone from Capone and Noriega. Yeah, I was the first that yeah. ever did it in entertainment. What about yeah, the yeah, comedian dude, the OG? That nigga dude. got it from me. Capone got his name oh, from you. Oh, I was it. Capone got... before it was Capone. And he you knew that. He knew you. He know that. No, I'm so the one, the comedian this. from New York. Maybe he he know that. It. Maybe he got it from another Capone that got it from Are you. you fucking kidding me? I, I'm just saying. You hey, know bullshit what I mean? ain't number chewed up brass. All the Capones came shaped for From you. me. <laughs> and the entertainment. Shit, bro. Bro. Got shit, bro. I swear for God, man. Hello? Yeah, yeah. You, you, and you do know that. Ask my nigga Max Shot. Listen. Your tell, boy tell you. You so comedy hype gotta tap in, man. They gotta tap in, comedy. Cause Capone, no, nigga. They yeah. got it for me. That nigga was nowhere in sight. I was before him. Do the do the math. Just do the math. Comedy? Or are you just talking about being your name being Capone? I'm talking about bringing it from the hood to entertainment. Yeah, right. I was signed man. I was the first Capone on wax. Mm -hmm. Comedy. Every no no, hold on. On on wax. Uh-huh. 
yeah. on, on entertainment. I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Because I feel like on Wax, I know for a fact, on, on wax, wax, I was the first person to ever say tap in. Guaranteed. Yeah, yeah. Look it up. Thank you. Yeah, now, on Wax, they've been saying yeah. that shit in the street. The yeah, San Francisco yeah, niggas the ones started that yeah, term. But in. on Wax, yeah. I was the first nigga to say tap, tap in. in. Nigga, on Thanks. Yeah. Nigga. So I know what you're you talking about when niggas be taking the game. I should have trademarked that motherfucker. You should have trademarked that You feel me? But Los Oakland is trademarked. Yeah, I'm talking about So yeah, you know. Yeah, you niggas know. I was the nigga. Yeah, I started Los Oakland, nigga. You feel me? Lost all I love it. But listen, let me land. It was my let nigga. Me let me land. It was my nigga in LA. I was the first. Mm -hmm. book, I was book upon. Mm -hmm. Then you had my nigga. I love my nigga. Slink. Yeah, Slink, Slink Johnson. Johnson Slink right? was Slink Shout Capone. out my nigga. So he was Slink Capone. He was Slink Capone? Slink Capone. Never. Signed with DJ Pooh. I, just, I, I thought I'm he was signed with Short. He was too short signing, but DJ Pooh put it. See, he was signed with Short, uh, but Pooh, DJ Pooh. If you know who DJ Pooh yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, from Front Legend. That's my nigga, Pooh. Uh, Watergate. Um, <laughs> Watergate. Yeah, you know what I mean? Watergate. What's that? Watergate Crips. The Watergate Crips. <laughs> you know, LA nigga, we got Yeah, that's some LA shit. DJ Poo Watergate. <laughs> Slink, yeah, yeah. I was afraid. Yeah, Boo Capone, Slink Capone, and rest in peace of my nigga Slip Capone. Mm. That was the only Capones, but I was first. Do the math. I did Mac 10. I was signed with Mac. I did the movies. My first record was with Lonzo from uh, World Class Record Crew. Mm -hmm. I did the banging on wax, flaming with B brazing them. I came out banging dissing Crips. Yeah. I came out. It's an album that we did called Flame. You hella funny because I remember uh, you. <laughs> the only reason I know what flamed up mean because you was on stage one time and you was like, yeah, I was on whatever street you named in L. A. You was like, yeah, I was on such such flamed up. And you was telling <laughs> joke. I'm like, what the fuck is flamed up? It was like that mean when a nigga went all, all red. red. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I said, flamed up. That's hella funny. Flamed I'm up. like, this nigga gang banger. As a comedian, as a comedian. That was funny. <laughs> and the cold thing about it, I, and I bring light to the see as when as the uh, hood nigga, I bring light to that game banger shit because yeah. we was wrong. Yeah, we was worse than the KKK. But when I say flamed up, <laughs> I mean why it, you say that? Why you think game banger was worse than the KKK? Because we killed each other over color. Double T, they was doing killing us over color. Damn, that's mm. that's kind of deep. Rest in peace, my nigga King Luffy Six said, B, B's and C's, boo, before Christ. Master P said it on West Coast Bad Boys. We ain't got to die for it no more. Let's live for it. Yeah. That's why I love Nipsey. Because yeah. Nipsey's from 60. my nigga. But, Nip. but Nipsey yeah, didn't Nip. this number. He did, whatever he did, he was with everybody. He said, okay, I'm 60s, yeah. but we can all get along. We can all get this money. Yeah, what they say, blue and red make green. Make man. green. Yeah, yeah. man. On, That's man. how we live in the Bay, yeah, man. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I love the Bay. We, we, we Players. Yeah, yeah, man. The Bay. We don't care what you wear, man. Let's go. What's she wearing around that motherfucker? What's she wearing? I don't care what he wearing. What's she wearing? I tell my nigga Oakland. Y'all nigga, my nigga from East Oakland. Oakland. We call him Oakland. I, I'm, he's in. You know I, that nigga was in the band. Like, right? Oakland look like a retarded too short. You probably know Oakland. And they got a big. He look like he got down. So he got dreads now. He's from the back. Say man. Say man. Yeah, my nigga hey Oakland. Man, say, say man. man. He, he say that. Yeah. And, and one thing about Oakland, man. I, like I said, I don't geographically. I love. I think we all the same people. Yeah, uh. I love Oakland, man. Y'all did a lot, especially in hip hop. When we fell off, y'all took it. You know, y'all took yeah. it. E forty, yeah. my nigga, uh, Father Dom, and yeah, Father you know, Dom, uh, Father man. Dom, yeah, my homies. Yeah, he go crazy. Yeah. yeah, the Bay. I love the Bay, man. I know a lot, man. I got partners, man. I was just with uh, uh Twice Bird Slim. You gotta come up to the soil, man. You gotta yeah. come they up to the Bay. Shit. They love me up there. Yeah. All right, we gonna they make it happen. Do too yeah, much comedy, man. Like, they slink to fuck with me. Whatever you be, come on. Everybody that came and fuck with me, I'm fucking with you. They love you up there in the soil, man. I'm fucking with you, man. I know that's cute. You go to Pleasanton and all that, man. But you gotta come to the you feel me. I'm coming to you feel me. Yeah, to the yara, 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 yara. Listen, I'm coming, man. Anytime when when you need me, and you gotta come fuck with me too. Yeah, nah, I'm just putting sure. that stand yeah, on your brain right now. Man, man. Put you that know? stand on the brain. Yeah, come yeah. on, B. Yeah. Put that stand. You popping the piece. Yeah, yeah man, I popped the piece. Yeah, I ain't mad at you. I'm glad at you. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I ain't mad at you. I'm glad at you. I like that one. I'm going to take that one. I'm going to put that in my pocket and socket. You can put it in your pocket and socket, man. I love it, man. And they tell you, real players, man. And I I was hollering the LB, man. He was like, boo, man, you know, come do my show, man. I said, man, come on, man. I said, Man, I fuck with my nigga because I, I tell you again, man. Where was we at? We was at we was somewhere. I, I um, where was we at? You had your parents with you, man. Your dad. I chopped it up with your pops. Uh, we were, we wasn't at the improv. We was somewhere. Where was we at? We was chilling too, big chilling. Okay. No, we ha ha. 
At the house. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking about uh-huh. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, was that the Teddy Memorial? We did Teddy's Memorial. I don't think they was there. That's probably when we were just doing no, the Young OG show. Doing, no, Young OG. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, The Mama's. Young OG show. I seen yeah. everybody hop out. I seen all my niggas. They did, all the homies hopped out. Um, A Boomer and mm-hmm. and a lot of the homies. Yeah, yeah. And they, 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 everybody said, oh, they... They really fuck with y'all. They fuck with you. Yeah. Uh, my nigga 211. And, um, oh, yeah. Shout out my nigga shout 211. Shout out to man. Inglewood. Inglewood. Finest, man. My nigga G Perico, man. G yes, Perico. Me, my um, partners, All man. the young, 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 young youngsters out here. One they thing, love. They I'ma fuck do, with you. One thing I'm going to do in any city that I fuck with, man, I'm going to tap in. Yeah, that's one thing. I, hey man, when you come to the Bay, man, tap in, man. Hit, yes, hit sir. my nigga uh, Jamal True Love, man. You understand me? Hit yes, Mister Fab. Hit me. Right. You gotta tap in with somebody, man. So and that's and how we fuck with it. I treat that. I treat people how I want to be treated, man. What's oh, up with my nigga Nico and, the Great? You know yeah, Nico, Nico the Great. Rico, man, my Rico, OG, man. Berkeley yeah, Smartest, Rico, man. Berkeley yeah. Smartest. Rico's a motherfucker. Rico. Yeah, I'm a motherfucker. That nigga look like the mascot from the uh, the Goonies. <laughs> We go and you know, our, our, and our, our tap in is like you know some some player, player shit. shit. You know what I mean? It ain't no nigga. You gotta tap in or this gonna happen. Like type shit. It's just more so you know it's respectful. And you know when we go to somebody else's city or whatever, we want to tap in with somebody to you know to to, to move how we to move. move how we move in general. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So definitely you know when you come up to the bay, man, come up tap in. Fuck yeah, with I'm, this I'm, shit. I'm coming. I'm coming. Put paint where it ain't, man. Yeah, you might think. Yeah, you gonna put some paint where it ain't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. My uncle Doobie, rest in peace. He was one of the biggest pimps mm-hmm. that ever did it. Uh, Sunset pimper. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I remember he cussed out Miss Parker from Friday. I cried. Miss Parker. Like, Miss Parker. He cried. He, was there. he said, "Bitch!" And then I said, "Man, that's Miss Parker. I don't give a fuck about." Her. He make Don Juan, uh, uh, Don Juan, mm-hmm. yeah, bite his nails. My uncle was a beast. <laughs> he make Don Juan bite his nails. Bite his nails. <laughs> I'm gonna put Don that in my pocket. Don, Don, Don yeah, Juan, man. though. Niggas, niggas start getting the, uh, niggas get the biting their nails when I come around, Michael man. Duke, <laughs> yeah. He had to put, he had everything. He paid for Mike Epps' teeth. Um, Mike played him in How High. If you ever seen the movie How High, yeah. with him as Cruncher, yeah. he's playing Uncle Doobie. <laughs> uh-huh. um, he got Ice T jacket back when Ice T got his jacket stole in high school. Uncle Doobie, that niggas be bringing up hella yeah, random shit. You know yeah, saying? nigga, he got that nigga. Uh, yeah. nah, that nah. nigga nails done nah. back in '83, <laughs> man. You yeah, said he was a pimpin' because he bit his shit off. You know what I mean? He made him get his yeah, shit. Yeah, Lil Doobie got his shoestrings back. Nah, yeah, when that nigga Doobie. lost his shoestrings. Yeah. Yeah. Uncle Doobie, I'll that time. yeah, Uncle yeah. Doobie's one of the realest pimps. All you gotta do is go to Jamie Foxx, the loudest pimp slap. Doobie and Jamie Foxx is 10 million views. He talk about Uncle Doobie. Uncle mm-hmm. Doobie was, was was revered. He had all the money. It's my uncle. Mm-hmm. Um, and what y'all saying? He would. That's why. That's why we. Are, when I said the cloth. Um, when you come to LA, he taught me this. Mm-hmm. I remember I was sixteen. Eddie Murphy had just bought a club in Hollywood called the China Club. Mm-hmm. I'm sixteen. I'm with all. Oh, I'm with Goo Baby, Steppin Charlie, Uncle Doobie, Buddy Brazil. I'm I'm a young man, but I'm like nigga, I'm walking in front. Yeah, my, my uncle said, "Hey, say this boo." Was big too. Yeah, he was big. That was big. Joe's like, on. Yeah, the prime. <laughs> Bigger uncle, than two kids. Yeah, uncle right. Doobie, Uncle Doobie said, "Hey, boo, ah, uh, get your punk ass to the back." The nigga that walks in front pays for everybody. The mm. nigga that walks in front pays for everybody. Mm. I put my head so, down, got to the back. Uncle Doobie paid for everybody to get in. Taught me a lesson, but did what you what y'all saying is real because he we would always your money don't work here. I got that from my uncle. Your money yeah, don't your, work here. Your, your money ain't good with me. Cause I'm you. If you come, it ain't no tapping in. And he was a pimp. My uncle was the biggest. Yeah, yeah. see, that's right. probably some Bay Area shit. Cause we yeah. don't move off the money, man. No. It's off the game. Yeah, the it's game. Off the game. Yeah, yeah. Uncle Dude was a coach. Yeah, pay me he's a game, the best. man. Yeah. He's the best. He's yeah. the best. Yeah, he, he's the coach. You can look at me. You can you can do your research. And he would always say, man, we have when people come to our town, we have to roll the red carpet out. Yeah, right, For real. right or wrong. We wrote that red carpet out. Because I want you to go back to Oakland and say, them niggas, L.A., them niggas, boom, them took care of us. Yeah. They took care of us. And nigga, we didn't have to pay nothing. And that's how real niggas get out. That's yeah, how I get out. Yep. Your money don't work here, nigga. What you want, nigga, let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Ain't nobody, nigga, we, ain't nobody going to look at you wrong. <laughs> yeah. Because we how, ready to do that's, that's how niggas show love. Uh, nigga, you good with me. You ain't nobody going to touch you. Ain't nobody yeah. going to look at <laughs> you wrong. That's how niggas show love. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Mama's though. Because yeah. if you with me, I, that's my responsibility. Nigga, you my response. Oh, mama's. Yeah. I can't go back and say, what happened to Louis? Yeah. What happened to my... Yeah. What what's up, boo? Yeah. I gotta get in that circle now. They was with you. Yeah. And you they know, supposed I, to get I, home. I, I think yep. I, I think Facts. that I think that's where it originated from, but turned into what protection. 
Right mm-hmm. At first it was just You know player mo- shit. Some player shit You know Motherfuckers was like You know I got you Don't even worry about it Ain't nobody gonna look at you Anything of the sort Just on some player Like I got you yeah. And then it turned into some Oh hold on In order for you to do this You know That's I gotta have shit. you And That's you gonna suckers. have to pay for this yeah. That's you know what I mean? That's yeah. when you take a gun not, And blow that motherfucker you. Yeah. you know yeah. what I mean yeah. 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 You shouldn't have to pay for that You should never have to pay That's when you take your pussy And blow that motherfucking head I'm from the I stone alone nigga OMG one I man gang. <laughs> I stole alone. One man gang. Huh? Yeah, P yeah. Stone. One so man I gang. Five times. I stole alone. I stole alone. One man gang. Yeah. Because I, I I started that. OMG one man gang years ago. Yeah. Be by all by myself. My if you see me, me, I'll be by myself. Yeah. Yep, that's all Every my time you see is. me, I'm by. I can I can have a thousand of my niggas up there. Yeah. And terrorize. Yeah. But see, I I ain't got enough money to put them on any books. I yeah. I stole alone by myself. Yep. By myself. So when you, I, I, I know what you're saying. That's the extortion shit. Yep. Yeah. Shit, nice shit. That's when you blow their motherfucking head off right there. Mm. Nigga, you ain't finna extort us. We black people. We, we any people, human beings. Right. You know what I'm talking about? And when y'all, like, like, like Oakland, nigga, I got so much love for y'all because y'all saved West Coast hip hop. Oh, man. Yeah. Y'all saved it. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Look at it. When Cube and we was having it, right? E4, y'all think the Bay Area. Oakland save West Coast hip hop. I'm gonna ask you one, one y'all question. Y'all put it on y'all yeah, back. Yeah, we gotta wrap I'm, it up, uh, man. Uh, I'm gonna ask you one question before we get up out of here. Why you think? I'm gonna spit uh, something for y'all too. Why you think Dre ain't never did nothing with E40? Because mm, Dre is a E40. Listen, man, E40 is one of the greatest. Of course, a legend. And Dre, Dre is a type of nigga like you know, like Cube said. Fuck him in his cute, unless you was getting paid too. And when they cross, they ain't never really crossed paths. When they cross paths, Dre's the type of nigga, out of sight, out of mind. If you in the studio with Dre, he's gonna put you on a track. That's how my nigga got on. That's how Dre's like that. But look, but look, Dre. If you yeah. if you in the studio with him, if E Forty can ever get in the studio with Dre, Dre gonna put him on a track. But, but see, Man, that's, that's but the E Forty on need to just. I need to get yeah, in the studio nah, with Dre. Don't. It gotta be a mutual respect. Uh, for it ain't sure. no you put me on this yeah. and nigga. You don't think Dre? You don't think Dre? in the soil? You don't think Dre? Dr. Dre, Dre respect E Forty? Uh, yes, he do. I think but, he do. But, so listen, I think it gotta be a mutual respect. Gotta be. But now listen, listen. I say this, right? Because E Forty spoke on this before, right? Like man, because people done asked him like, why you ain't? And he done done shit with everybody on. On the West Coast, the he only did shit was short. Only bit. No, I've no, no, done I'm shit about with everybody. E40. E40 Dr. Dre did but shit with everybody on I've the West been in Coast. The only with Dre. person he ain't did nothing with, was but too short too. But Dre, uh, let yeah, me tell yeah, you exactly. something. Dre, yeah. Dr. Dre is a good friend of mine, man. Dr. Dre, out of sight, out of mind. I'm yeah. telling you, mm-hmm. if if you, it's for like the past two. thirty years. I mean, not nah. for the past thirty years if though. E40, you know what I mean? Listen, man, my nigga, my nigga. Um, I'll give you an example. My nigga, um, the Far Eye, the Far Eye. I'm on his album. The Ferrari got on the, the Chronic 2001 album, right? Mm-hmm. The Alcoholics wasn't on that album. The Alcoholics put Exhibit in the game. It was a group called the Alcoholics. The Alcoholics from from <laughs> from, from, from LA. Uh, 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 Exhibit. They brought Exhibit. King oh, T. Swear. King okay. T. Brought them out. King T. So the Ferrari is on that Chronic 2001. Uh-huh. That is right. Uh-huh. You know why? Because he was just taking Exhibit up to the studio. It was just there. Yeah. Dr. Dr. Dre is a type of nigga. He's Aquarius. If you there, he gonna put you on. Oh, okay. But he's not gonna go seek out E40. That makes sense. That you makes sense. sense. I get that. Yeah. I'm telling you, if yeah. E40 can end up in a studio with Dr. Dre, Dr. Dre gonna put him on. Dr. Dre is a, is a very petite, meticulous producer. Yeah. yeah. You got. He told me he said, "Boo man, just write it." I mean, it's my nigga. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? But I don't. I'm not a buddy hustler. Yeah. Yeah. But if I'm right. there, he's come on. Whatever you need, boo. It's out of sight. It's like Cube. If you there, uh, they gonna fuck with you, man. Uh, that being said, y'all wanna spit something for y'all real quick? Spit something, fuck right, it, before right, we wrap out, man. Hey, man, this I nigga a get comedian, some... but he uh, he like being a rapper. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go from the dumb lyrical concepts to a beast, be subliminal. Rest in peace to Mike, go on the smooth criminal. Nigga, you know it's belt, dealt, I'm with Lewis Belt. My nigga, listen, man, I make a bitch panties melt. I gotta get that bag with my top notch swag. Yapping mm-hmm. these niggas with a hot chop mag. Cause niggas get mad when a nigga get a bag. That's why I stay on smash in a drop top jag. <laughs> I got more chips than a ruffle bag, boy. Mm. Get to the bag, little duffel bag, boy. Mm. I'm going for the gouda. I gotta stay lit. Cause life ain't shit being broke with no chip. Mm. So I stay on a mission, play my position, make all opposition, meet a mortician. 
These niggas ain't bosses. These niggas be wishing. In a good <laughs> position from all that ass kissing. <laughs> I break niggas down like a lawn chair. I got a white, white bitch with blonde hair. <laughs> ain't this a bitch? I've been a star. I had a white bitch, Pat Benatar. A Jenny Piccolo. That's how I dick a hoe. Turn her out, burn her out, or figure her out. Oh! <laughs> that nigga went crazy. Hey, you went crazy. Uh, you did. You did. I love y'all, man. I love y'all. Oh, I love that shit. Hey, man. That was going crazy. Yeah, yeah. Book them all. Book them all in the hey, building, I'm man. Hey, y'all, man. Support this well. podcast, y'all. Yeah, I yeah, fuck yeah. with my baby. Man, support this, y'all. All my people fuck with my niggas, man. man I appreciate time, you coming sure. through, man. Yeah, yeah. It's Kelly Kickback, man. It's Thug Mansion, man. Louis Bell, Jamal True Love, man. Book yeah. Capone, man. Y'all subscribe, yeah. tap in with the guy. Y'all talking about. Yes, Lord. Shout out my nigga Yuck Mouth. <laughs> Yucky! Yucky! <laughs> <Like that. laughs>